Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another Ready or Not video. Before we get started here, I'd like to shout out my partnership, Buy Games Cheaper with Instant Gaming. The affiliate link will be down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. In this video, we're going to be discussing the latest announcement from Void Interactive regarding the 2024 content roadmap. This is something we've been waiting for for a while now, and we're finally getting some insight as to what's to come for future content for Ready or Not. Void Interactive has shared with us all of their plans for the most part for 2024 and we're expecting to see a brand new DLC within the next few months as well as the release of 1.1. In spring of 2024, Ready or Not will be getting its very first official DLC called Home Invasion. This DLC will be immediately available for supporter edition owners for free like originally promised. This DLC is said to feature new maps, new firearms, and one exclusive DLC only player outfit. Now this is something I am extremely excited for this DLC in particular. I have expressed that there needs to be more house style residential maps and ready or not. And I know a lot of you guys agree. We absolutely want to see more residential style home maps, very much like 213 Park Homes and the beachfront map. So obviously I am very excited to see what they plan to do with this DLC. There is so much potential here and I really do hope this is as good as it sounds. Now with the DLC release, they say that 1.1 will also be released around the same time. Void Interactive states that the 1.1 update will feature additional content, improvements, and bug fixes. Ready or Not's second DLC is planned to release in the summer of 2024, which is crazy considering how short of a time span there is there between DLC 1 and DLC 2. I really want them to be this consistent. I, I hope this is the case with DLCs, and if it is the case, I know Ready or Not is headed in the right direction. I have always stated that in order for Ready or Not to stay relevant, they need to continue pumping out fresh content, continue giving us new firearms, maps, storylines, etc. This is exactly what is going to keep everyone's attention and keep the game relevant. To be honest with you guys, I'm speculating we will get PvP by DLC 2 if we don't already have it by DLC 1. Again, just a speculation though, but I think PvP is going to be something we're going to be getting very soon. Either way, lastly, Ready or Not will receive its 1.2 update in fall of 2024, which again, just like with 1.1, will get additional features, improvements, and bug fixes. Obviously, there's a disclaimer here with all of this. Void Interactive explicitly states that everything here is subject to change, so there's always going to be the possibility that these DLCs and updates get delayed, but from what I'm hearing so far, from what we're looking at, they are definitely on a very good track. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about the upcoming DLC. I'm actually just very surprised that we're going to be getting a DLC this early. I didn't think we were going to be getting a DLC until late summer or fall, so it is just crazy to me if this is actually what's going to be coming to the game as far as content is concerned. We have a lot of DLCs uh, that are going to be planned in the future. I just can't imagine what they're going to be doing for next year with all of the content that they have planned so far. That is everything to go off of, though. Thank you guys so much for sticking through all of this video. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much again, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.